Hey everybody, hope everyone's having a great uh, morning this morning. It's been a busy morning, which is a good thing here. So, starting to see a lot more news about student forgiveness uh, loan debt, okay? So, a couple of thoughts here, and they're not, well, I, I guess they're kind of crazy in this day and age here. So, if you don't have the return on the investment um, in order, you know, the return on investment on college to pay it back, Okay, so you you borrow all this money to go to college thinking that you can come out and get a job, make a living, and all that stuff. Um, but then you can't pay it, pay the student loan back. Well, to me, simple economics is that's not a good return on the investment. So if it's not a good return on the investment, maybe you shouldn't go to college. Um, you don't have to go to college to be successful. There's a lot of trade schools out there right now with plumbing and, uh, you know, you know, anything, um, you know, people can go and, and get trained to, to, to do so many things that people, you know, didn't want to do. And, and that's the reason why they went to college. Um, for an example, I had a, a client who was 21 years old and he didn't go to college. He had no student loan debt and, you know, he, he was like an electrician. And he was making over $120,000 a year with no debt. So all these jobs that people made front, you know, made fun of all these years, um, those are the most successful people right now that can go out and not go into debt and get, and get into some sort of training program and be successful and be independent and be taxpayers. But instead, we, we shove people like cattle into college because they have to go to college, okay? And I'm guilty of it too. I mean, back in the day. Uh, which was totally useless for me from, from what I'm doing right now. And we, we shove them into college like, okay, that's the end all be all. Meanwhile, they, they take out all these student loan debts. They can't pay them back. And all of a sudden, now everybody else has to pay the bill. Uh, how about firing the, the, the teachers in the colleges? How about firing the, the, the admins in college? How about getting rid of all these people who constantly said do this you know go to college and and so forth and when you get to college the first year or two years you're taking high school classes again to keep teachers employed in college and now these people after four years can't make enough money to pay back their student loan debts so let's all forgive them of their debts and have other people who didn't take out student loans have other people who are working going through college to avoid student loans to bear the burden of that, you think you think that's a good recipe? And and by the way, when you forgive all the student loan debt, now you're gonna think that that piece of paper is worth toilet paper, okay? Because it doesn't mean anything. Uh, so people went through all this stuff. Now they can't pay back the student loan debts because once again, the return on investment isn't there. So now we all have to forgive that. So what does that say about what they graduate with? So anyway, that's my theory on it. Um, I know it's, it's pretty, pretty basic. If, if you can't have the return on the investment, then well, don't go to college. And I understand if, if, like if you want to go to become a nurse or a doctor, you have to get trained. And that's what it's supposed to be, training. If you want to hire learning, Google. Stuff is free, okay? I mean, you can learn about anything now at your fingertips where you couldn't learn 25 years ago. Uh, by your fingertips. So uh, anyway, that's just my uh, philosophy on it. I think it's kind of a joke. Uh, if you've got any questions, <laughs> the comments, uh, shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. But you know, if the return on investment isn't there, maybe it's not a good investment. I don't know. Call me crazy.